underground fighting rings, robbery in Windsward, and a new face in purple? Find out tonight on GDN. Welcome to GDN, I'm your host OP. We've got a banger to start off the night. There is a fighting club, a nude fighting club down in Rothward Hollow of Cutlass Keys. We took a second to get down there, video footage the whole area, maybe even break into a conversation with these crazy lunatics. Let's hear what they had to say. How did you end up here? Well, um, I ran out of money. Begging in the streets of Windsor just wasn't, uh, wasn't cutting it. All my tools broke. I just decided to head down south take off my clothes and live in this cave with the alligators. About when did uh, all of your fellow comrades join in the fun? I'm not, I'm not really sure, you know, I woke up one day and one had turned into three and then they started taking all the alligator meat and I just wasn't having it. So we, we kind of decided to fight amongst ourselves for the, the controlling of this cave. See what I told you? Kind of wild. Second on the agenda, there seems to have been a misunderstanding at the McDonald's in Windsward. So much so that Skirt Skirt Mr. Vert actually changed it to a Chick-fil-A. Uh, there was there were a few gentlemen who wanted a Big Mac, Big Mac meal. Uh, and and the, the the establishment wouldn't serve them. It's a shame, really. Uh, I know these two gentlemen, and they, it was uh, it was uh, it was just a misunderstanding, you know, no need to get into the detail too much. But uh, anyways, on to the next. Whoa. Oh wait, what Yo. is that? Uh, can we can we can we can we cut? McDonald's getting cut, mugged. Cut, cut. On to the next news. Let's get into how to make your money with stocks with Mr. Green. Mr. Green. Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Green, 1290 of Green Stocks Corner. Prices of Asmo seem to have finally leveled off from their fall from 500 coins back at the start of the Winter Convergence event. If you remember from last week, runic leather prices went bonkers, and look, it happened again. Is this a pattern or a coincidence? Stay tuned here over the next few weeks to find out. Today, let's talk about timeless shards. You know those little pieces of paper that either make you rich or depressed during your dungeon runs? Ranging from 15 to 5,000 coins. What gives? Well, let's take a look at some armor and see what patterns arise. These are the the prices of the light, medium, and heavy armor shards for each type. The first pattern you might notice is that light gear seems to be more expensive. Well, except what's happening here on this chest piece. Well, the meta build for light armor, as shown here, consists of all light gear except for one medium chest piece, which makes the light chest piece a little less valuable. The same pattern can be shown for the medium meta build. And what's going on with heavy? Well, heavy tanks are generally used for PvE, and who's going to drop Asmodium level prices for PvE gear? Well, that might change with mutations coming up. We shall see. That was Green Stonks Corner, and as always, buy high, sell higher. Well, I like to say any moment we get with green is timeless. Anyways, over to Marcus with the weather. Marcus? Although I can no longer see the weather based off previous incidences, I can still feel the weather. Oh, Hi. what? You're phrasing the wrong way. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Well, like I was saying, it feels cold. Uh, well, seems as if the effects have taken hold of him. Speed of recovery, Marcus. I'd like to take the second to thank this week's sponsor. Enjoy. Crap. I miss her so much. I just want her back. Uh, it's time to do the ad. Okay. Let's give me a sec. Come on down to Heska's house of hot garbage. We got 595 armor. We got 595 food graphics. Fat matter of fact, we'll give you a little live demonstration right here. Maybe a little bottle for you or the missus. Just put your hands off right there. You put a little crap on right there, and then you press crap. Ain't no problem. We're going to try again with another pair of gloves. Oh, you piece of shit. Ain't no thing. How about we try again with a couple pair of gloves for a real special client of mine? You put your A's off in your crap on. You crafted both the ones. And boy, howdy, I tell you, we only craft 600 gloves. You son of a... Better hurry on to Heska's House of Hot Garbage. Come turn your timeless shards into a timeless piece of crap. Thanks, Heska. If you need some stuff, you know where to get it. On to sports. This week was kind of interesting. Had a lot of action, but not a lot of success. Even with Bricked on one side, they uh, they kind of pushed on to Eben. Didn't have the, the, the war they were looking for, so they ran it right back, pushed it, and they actually took the dub over demons in Eben scale. And to balance out that that win for Bricked, Zenith lost earlier in the week in Brightwood to Swole Patrol, who now has Morningdale, Weaver's Finn, and Brightwood. Uh, if you want to put them in a little bit of a pickle, you could probably declare all at the same time, which actually happened earlier in this week, but it didn't pan out for the attacking. Would like to also offer up a plea to the gods to stop interfering in the wars. Monarchs this week, yellow was attacking, green was defending. Ten minutes into the war, everyone went silent. They wake back up, the war's over. Money back in the pockets, no one knows why. 
No one knows what's going on. So I prayed to the gods, please, no more. At the beginning of the broadcast, we talked about a purple by the name of Glide was sent from the heavens to do the bidding and put purple back in harmony. It did not go well this week. They went for the attack on the anti-pax was the five name, five point guild from down the south in first light, maybe next time. They have another war in Eben coming up. We'll see how it goes. That's it for this week with GDN. Remember to strut those feathers. This has been GDN. Thank you.